stuck in the mud and no way out. Very soft spot. Was removing the bucket to replace it with the forks so I could pick up a car, get on top of the trailer, and haul it off to the scrapyard. But at the moment, I'm in a pickle and I need to work out this pickle. I'm not too sure yet. May have to call for some help, call a friend, come and give me a yank, a pull, as I'm in there steering it out. But as far as it getting out itself, it's just not going to turn out. I'm going to end up burying the one side and possibly even tipping it over. So therefore, I'm going to stop at this point and leave it right where it is. You can see how uh, sloped it is, tipped the one front wheel is completely off the ground. Well, that's okay. I'll deal with it a little bit later. But at this moment, this particular involvement has come to a halt. You can see how I tried getting off there, but on the uh, spot right here is the dry spot. But it just would not grab a hold and pull itself up without the assistance of the bucket. But there is no bucket, so I couldn't give it any assistance. So that's fine. We'll work it out. It's just not at this minute. Let me take you over to the trailer. I was going to haul off to the scrap yard. One of my last loads. And there's Timmy. Here's my trailer. I built this about 12, 13 years ago. The marker light, they, they kind of got broke off. Could have almost had a protector over them, so they couldn't. No big deal. It's not mandatory, them side lights. It was just a cosmetic feature I put on there. And I kind of bent in the fender a little bit. No big deal. Big old straight bar will straighten that out. But this trailer, I tell you, it's been, a, it's been one good trailer for me. It's done an awful lot of work. As you can tell, it's kind of got, it looks beat up, but... Carries one load, one mead load. Pretty much loaded up. The only thing you gotta worry about is the tires blowing. So if you have extra tires with you, you don't even have to worry about that. That's how well built it is. And I'm just not interested in building something if I can't do it strong durable and long lasting i just don't see the point in it but that's that's me someone else they can do what they want here was the start a couple old things there and then the car i was going to put on top of this it's actually just a piece of a car it's not even a complete car so i'll squish it down as much as i can with the skid steer flatten it out as much as i can then i'll strap her down to the trailer and well off to the scrap yard and collect whatever it may be worth at that moment I'm, I'm expecting about a hundred dollar hundred dollars maybe a hundred and twenty five dollars something on those lines well thank you for watching everyone and if you could subscribe please oh one more thing you can see the uh the old bush truck i'm starting the process of going through it and doing what i need to do to it to get it ready for the bush to get home me firewood But I need to wrap up a few other things here first. It's up in the air anyway. So the first step. I'm not going to climb underneath it, mind you. This is just to get the wheel up. Work on the wheel outside here. Having a very difficult time locating a locking hub. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to engage it full time. Full time 4x4. Don't have to worry about two wheel drive. It's just for the bush. On my own land. So I'm not really too concerned whether it engages or unengages it's not really a big concern it's a beast i mean look at this thing that's what it's good for it's good for the bush and to finish up my scrap process here some uh, heads off of the motor that i blew up in my vehicle there last fall 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the valves. This way it's just aluminum and the manifold. Remove the manifold and remove the valves. See there's one of the valves that went bad, it broke. The stem's still in there. So I can make it just aluminum. You get more for it at the scrapyard. It's not a real big deal removing these valves. All you have to do is push down this top piece here. You have to have something on the other side of the valve. And there's two little clips that hold that spring in place. And then once those clips are removed, the valve will drop out the bottom and uh, that's it. Aluminum. Alrighty.